This conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. Yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. This country will do whatever must be done to protect its own security and that of its allies. General, we got a message from Khrushchev which said that uh, he would withdraw these missiles fighting. We did not plan to invade Cuba. Now the time has come for this nation to fulfill its promise. A country uh, is as strong, really, as its citizens. And I think that mental and physical health, mental and physical vigor, go hand in hand. A great change is at hand, and our task, our obligation, is to make that revolution, that change, peaceful and constructive for all. President Kennedy has been assassinated. The time for debate is over. The time has come to unite. We are a strong and we are a courageous people. I am announcing today my candidacy for the presidency of the United States. I do not run to oppose any man or to propose new policies. Policies to end the bloodshed in Vietnam, policies to close the gaps that now exist between black and white, between rich and poor. I run for the presidency because I want the Democratic Party and the United States of America to stand for hope instead of despair. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? If you're going to do anything important with your life, there's going to be a hero's journey where you go through the valley of death. You feel you're completely alone. When my uncle was present, everybody was talking about Camelot. And I ended up reading a book about Camelot called The Once and Future King. It gave me the capacity to process pain in a different way. The trick to life is to not have expectations, but just to know what your duty is and to do it. You become relentless. Nobody can defeat you. Tonight, I'm very pleased to welcome Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. Don't you want healthy children? And don't you want the chemicals out of our food? And don't you want a president that's going to make America healthy again?